Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Red and Yellow Creative School of Business Open Day. Uh, my name is Wesley, and I have the privilege of leading the team here at Red and Yellow. We're running this open day specifically for our online short courses and our online qualifications. If you're interested in studying with our full-time school, uh, then please join us on the 13th of May uh, for our full-time school open day. Our school has been around for 26 years and we've produced amazing alumni who've gone on to do great things all around the world. Our purpose here at Red and Yellow is to change the world through education. And we do that by teaching our students to think creatively because we believe that creative thinking is the most important skill for the future. Our school was founded in 1994 by legends of the advertising industry, Brian Saltrip, Alan Roth, Bob Wrightford. These guys were passionate about ensuring uh, their graduates were industry ready and able to hit the ground running when they graduated from Red and Yellow. They accomplished this by giving their students real world briefs and one on one attention. Now we've continued that philosophy today in both our full time school and our online school. Our students get hands on practical work and insights they have direct access to our lecturers and to the course assistants. So we do believe in that uniquely human touch and we offer that in the courses that we offer. Students receive personalized feedback on the assignments and they get to engage with the course designers through various forums. So we do, as I said, place a lot of emphasis on human interaction through your time with us. We're a fully accredited institution through the Council on Higher Education and the Department of Higher Education and Training, as well as through uh, the MICT CETA, the Sector Education Training Authority. All of our full-time and part-time qualifications are fully accredited, which means you get a recognized qualification from the South African Qualifications Authority that is transferable internationally. Our short courses, which we're focusing on today, are NQF aligned, and on request, you can do the accredited version and be awarded specific unit standards when you pass. Now, our school's promise is that we will grow your career. Uh, we've had so much encouraging feedback from our alumni, as well as from recruiters and employers, that we are confident that if you pass a course with us, you will in some way grow your, your career over the next 12 months. You're welcome to chat with our career advisors if you want to find out any more uh, detail about that. And it's actually at this stage that I'm going to invite uh, the manager of our career advisor team, Donnie Fenter. I'm going to ask Donnie to um, bring himself on there and unmute himself. Donnie's a great guy, and he's going to take some time to talk you through uh, the courses that we offer, as well as bring on some of our lecturers as well. Just a reminder, you can ask uh, questions during the presentation. Um, there's a Q&A function that you'll see at the bottom of your screen. Please put your questions in the Q&A button, not in the chat box. Uh, if you put in the chat box, we'll miss the questions there. So please put your questions in the Q&A section. If we do have time um, in between um, uh, the, vari the various presentations, we'll answer those questions for you. If not, we will make an effort to get uh, back to you and answer those questions as well. So um, I'm going to hand over to Donnie. As you can see, we've got, uh, you know, we're, we're not actually on our campus. This is just, these are just pictures of our campus. We thought we want to give you guys a taste of what it's like at our campus. We're sad that we can't be there, but we're obviously keeping to all the regulations that we have to keep to. I'm actually broadcasting from the comfort of my lounge. Um, so enough waffle from me. I'm going to hand over to Donnie. Uh, Donnie, over to you. Thanks, Wes, and uh, thanks very much uh, for everyone obviously joining us today. Um, as we, uh, Wes mentioned, you know, at Red and Yellow, our promise is that we will grow your career, and we're really confident that our course will, will help you do exactly that. Um, so we can just have a look at some of the online courses uh, that we offer, and I'll be inviting a couple of our lecturers uh, to speak uh, to the details and as well as the benefits of the courses. So first we're going to have a look at the digital marketing courses that we offer. As you can see there we've literally written the book on digital marketing. Our textbook e-marketing the essential guide to marketing in the digital world is in its sixth edition and as you can see there just off the, uh, the 10th anniversary um, and this is actually used by universities all over the world. It 
It is the most downloaded digital marketing textbook uh, with over 1 million copies downloaded. Um, so, hey, yeah, uh, and you can also, also either get the hard copy or you can download it for free you know, sort of on our website. Uh, but when you do our digital marketing courses, you do get that physical copy for free. So we offer three online short courses uh, on digital marketing and two online qualifications. And I'm going to invite my colleague, Di Charton, who heads up our advanced diploma in marketing, advertising and communication and has loads of experience in the digital marketing world, running agencies before joining Red and Yellow, to tell us a little bit more about the courses uh, and the programs that we offer in this space. So, uh, yeah, welcome, Di. Thanks for joining us. You not only uh, teach digital marketing, but you've also completed the advanced diploma in digital marketing. And um, yeah, so just obviously making sure that we're teaching the right stuff. Um, so yeah, please could you just uh, you know, go through the courses and tell our students you know, sort of what they can expect to gain from them. So hi guys, um, really nice to have you all join us today. I think almost for me, I think it's understanding why you'd even want to do digital marketing in the first place and particularly what our courses offer. And I think what any one of our very much the five so there's four of them that are up here but we've also got the introduction to digital marketing and i'll take you through them briefly um you know kind of in a bit more detail but every single one of the five courses really starts to unpack the value that digital starts to that, that digital marketing gives us an understanding of what makes digital marketing unique understanding your customer because for me it's one of the most important things that we need to do as marketers and people responsible for building brands and building strong connections is going how do we connect with people and how do we understand what it is that they want and then how do we build meaningful connections where they get value and it's one of those things that you keep on harping on about and you see it coming through in every single one of our courses this whole notion of value exchange and then also understanding very much what makes digital difference and what are the unique opportunities that digital marketing starts to offer us and offer me as a marketer in terms of that process of building brands that matter, brands that resonate and brands that ultimately grow with our customers. And I think that's so, so critically important. So if we just look at it and going initially and um, just taking you through the different opportunities that you have with us, you know, our um, our flagship course, and we do call it our flagship course because it's the one that we are best known for, is our 10-week digital marketing um, course. And very, you know, this gives you an opportunity to really understand the digital landscape and to start to actually um, implement some of those learnings. So it's very detailed. It takes you through a great opportunity, and as with every single one of our courses, to not just listen and learn but to actually do and we very pride, we, we pride ourselves on our level of interaction and our level of, of feedback and opportunity to let you know if you're on the right track um, and to guide you towards the right track if you aren't so we have we, we started off with this flagship and then from there have realized that we needed to create other opportunities from there so we've got the introduction to digital marketing which is a six-week course so kind of this just gives you a basic introduction. It's very much about learning and understanding. When you get into the flagship, it's about learning, understanding and doing. And then the professional course, which we decided to then notch it up another level, is the learning, understanding, doing, and then ultimately mastering, because that's what you're looking to do. And typically, your professional certification are people who've actually worked within the space, you really understand the language, They've implemented campaigns of their own, um, and they're now looking to take their career and their knowledge up to the next level. We often find that people within the professional certification have been involved in one area of digital because they are so, there's a mass array from search marketing, um, advertising, social media, user experience, design, or content marketing, all of these different areas that make up this vast array of digital. And typically, somebody might have come in on one side and is looking to upskill themselves across the full length. We've also got our accredited programs. Um, we've got a one year national certificate in advertising that specializes in digital marketing. And this also is an amazing opportunity to really get a certification. It comes at an NQF level five. 
where we divide your learning into four key modules over the year and take you through a learning path that is quite extensive that encompasses all areas of digital as well as other elements around managing teams, managing projects. And then our two-year advanced diploma in digital marketing, which is absolutely amazing. It was, def it was the first of its kind and is really revolutionary in terms of giving you an advanced diploma. So that comes in the NQF level seven, um, taking you through everything within digital. And again, we look here at not just understanding and implementing digital marketing techniques, but also looking at you know, relationship building, um, all of these different elements and kind of project management, all of these tools to make an effective marketer. And then with absolutely everything that we do, it's underpinned by something that we hold very dear and say are very important, which are critical skills. It's not really soft skills, it's critical skills because that makes us uniquely human. And it's something that underpins every single one of our courses, every single one of our approaches, um, because it's in that way that we believe we become more effective marketers, we become more effective communicators, and ultimately we get to implement all of the digital learning that we've got. So that's very much it in a nutshell. I've kind of summarized everything in a condensed way, um, because I can cover more things as we go into the Q&A because there's a lot more and a lot of exciting things to take you through today. So I'm going to hand over back to you, Danny. Cool. Thanks, Di. Uh, yeah, thanks also for the clarification just between uh, our short courses and programs. We've got a question here from Kayla. So the question reads, uh, do you have to start with a six-week course or can you start with the flagship course? Uh, do you want to take that on, Di? Yeah, so, so Kayla, this is also something um, we really pride ourselves on our, on our team of, of um, committed, committed members who, who are looking to help you design your career. And I think it very much comes into what are you looking to get out of it? So if, if you've just got a very basic knowledge and, um, of marketing, and all you want to do is have a basic understanding then the introduction course is for you. You don't have to do the introduction course to do the flagship course. In the flagship course, we absolutely cover everything that you need. I would say though, that you would need to have some level of experience before doing our pro course. Um, the same thing comes as well with our um, accreditation courses. You can actually do those as long as you've got the right level of qualification um, and you qualify to do those, but you don't necessarily have to have the experience. We'll teach you everything that you need. So don't worry, we'll take you through the basics and we build you up. It's also why we've got the different lengths. We need longer on the flagship course, which is a 10 week course, as opposed to the introduction course, which is just six weeks. Um, I see, hi team, is it a prerequisite for one to have a marketing background or experience in order to participate in any one of the courses? Um, and absolutely not. No, you don't have to. Um, you, it is, what we do is we will connect you and we actually take you through the journey of understanding the marketing environment and, and understanding all of the definite um, elements that you, that you need in order to become effective in the space. The caveat there, again, once again, is the Digital Marketing Pro. Like we said there, it's, I think it's really important that not just that you have an understanding of the um, of marketing, but you've actually got an understanding and you've got the, you've practiced and you've actually implemented skills within the digital marketing arena. Um, I think it's very critical in that perspective. Um, will practical skills be taught in the advanced diploma? Will we provide opportunities to build a website, write SEO copy and develop mobile campaigns? Absolutely. Modi, you are my type of person because it's not just um, an advanced diploma level. You know, it's one of our core beliefs that theory is one thing, but it's through the practical application of what you've learned that you actually learn. So that underpins absolutely everything and every approach that we take within red and yellow is going not just, you know, can you, do you understand the theoretical constructs of something? Can you practically apply it? So absolutely yes, without a doubt, and not just at an advanced diploma level. Um, what careers can you go into with the advanced diploma? Um, so, you know, for me, I think what's actually quite amazing is just the vast array of people that we see um, kind of you 
we see and, and I, I see it also consistently from the amount of people that are coming from the industry and come to us looking at for people with the type of skills that we produce is that your, your opportunities are endless because so many businesses, so many companies, so many agencies, so many different areas within the communication and marketing space need the type of skills that that we that we cover so it's vitally important and um, you you could find yourself going and you could specialize or you could be a generalist so the you know you could end up being a marketing manager a brand manager account manager strategist or you could decide that after this you find something within there that really tickles your niche where you go wow this is really i absolutely love the section on search marketing and that's the area that I'm going to go and specialize in. So we ensure that you have a breadth and with something like the ADDM, which is what we call the advanced diploma, we've got time to go into the depth. So there's kind of, you know, we're looking at that. We, we're trying to create all along this opportunity to, to build T-shaped marketers. So you've got a good understanding of a lot of elements and then you can actually start to specialize, specialize within that, within that space. Um, and then just, you know, there's a, there's a couple of extra things just in terms of uh, the ADDM. It covers absolutely everything that exists within the flagship, as well as the DM Pro, um, Digital Marketing Pro. Sorry, we love our acronyms, um, particularly in the digital marketing space. Um, and then kind of with our certificate, it's much more focused kind of in, in some specific areas. And often that also becomes a good opportunity for people who don't necessarily have the qualification because at the advanced diploma, because it's at an NKF7, you need that higher, um, that higher level just to come into it. Um, and yes, a VTech in marketing and currently a traditional marketing consultant. Can I start with the 14 week pro course? You know what, I think it's one of those things that we would probably have a discussion around. I would say that if you haven't had any experience within the digital space, I would start with our flagship, I would start with the 10 week course, that I wouldn't necessarily actually go into the DM Pro, which really does require you to have that base understanding. And then I think, can you do these courses while you're working? Absolutely, that's what we've created them for. We recognize the fact that we at Red and Yellow are so, um, you kind of curiosity is the thing that drives us. You're, if you come to our campus, you'll see we've got a big sign on the front wall that says, I'm a sponge. And for us, we are driven by this need for lifelong learning because we feel that it's through consistently challenging ourselves that we, we improve the industry and we improve ourselves. And so these courses have 100% been designed to for the working professional or, or somebody who's currently studying something else on the side and is looking to upskill themselves at the same time. So yes, 100% you can do these courses while you are working. Um, and then... Sorry, one more question. I'm currently in a demanding marketing and communications position and with the COVID-19 requiring, requiring organizations to revolutionize their marketing strategies, will the flagship course arm you with the creative skills I need in order to make a valuable contribution as well as possibly move me up a level? Again, one of the things that we're super proud about is the feedback that we get from our students. We say we're driven by our student success and consistently we get feedback from students um, who've completed any one of our courses and tell us about the impact that it's made on their career decisions. So 100% we, the aim is to give you those additional skills. And I definitely think that it's one of those things in terms of with a consultation with us, um, that might be a good idea for you to actually give us a call, talk a little bit about exactly what you're in and exactly where you're wanting to fix those muscles because um, both Connor and Kerry have also got some exciting courses that they will talk to you through. And then our consultant team can actually help you design the best possible program um, in order to, um, to get you in your career. Um, so I think, guys, can we, should we move on and come back to some of these questions because I'm just very mindful of eating up all the time because we've got quite a few other exciting things to, to talk about. And then what we can do is if these don't get answered, we can come back and answer them at the end. Hey, Donnie? Yeah, perfect. I was about to say that. And a lot of the questions that are popping up now uh, will be covered uh, when we tie everything up. 
Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that really gives us. Uh, so thanks very much, Dar. Really giving a really good, um, you know, sort of in depth, uh, you know, sort of uh, intro into our courses and as well as our programs. Uh, don't worry, guys. We definitely will get to those uh, questions that are there. Um, cool. Next one, um, another course that really has become popular over the last uh, couple of years um, is our graphic design online course. So we teach graphic design um, at our full time qualifications. Uh, after receiving numerous requests uh, from people wanting to learn graphic design remotely, um, we pretty much put this course together. Um, so I'm going to invite one of our other lecturers, Connor, uh, Connor Cullinan, uh, to join us and tell us about the graphic design course. Uh, Connor, you there? Yes, I'm here. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for, thanks for joining us today. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what our online course covers and then just explain the importance of graphic design in today's world and why you might want to consider doing it uh, to boost your career. Um, so it's an introduction to graphic design. It's a course that uh, is for people who haven't had any real experience in terms of graphic design. Um, you don't have to be particularly computer literate because uh, we uh, give you access to uh, Adobe Illustrator which will help you create your designs, but also there will be some training and uh, an ebook that's available um, for you to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator. So um, we don't expect you to start off with that. We have seven modules in our course. Uh, the first one is a history of, of design, which goes back to cave painting days. So it's, it's not just recent history. Um, but goes back to prehistoric times and how people started using imagery and then eventually alphabets and writing and printing presses to um, communicate. So graphic designers are all about uh, working with image and words simultaneously. And that's basically what we try and cover. But um, we obviously have adjusted it to suit the modern world so that you can get something out of it, whether it's working for an employer or, or uh, perhaps you're an entrepreneur and you've started your own business and you want to know how you want the skills to promote yourself and design a logo and so on. So the history of design is the first uh, module. Then the second one is design process, which teaches you how to uh, really do research and ideate, which is to conceptualize, to come up with a good idea um, and things like that. So uh, it's, it's a good idea to have a solid foundation in process and how to approach your work, how to unpack a client brief so that you can deliver what um, the client is after. Um, and then once those basic fun foundational things are in place and a little bit of Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator has been learned, then we move on to color theory. Um, it's not just a theoretical component, because, uh, at least module, because you get to uh, practically put it into um, practice by designing some posters. But um, working with color is obviously a very crucial part of being a designer and understanding the complexities of working with color is uh, one of those basic skills that needs to be there. After that, we do principles and elements of design, which introduces um, students to the other things aside from color that um, um, are helpful in terms of producing aesthetically pleasing work and students at that stage design some leaflets. So again, there's a practical application of the knowledge that's learned. That's then followed by typography um, where, for example, typography terms are explained and um, uh, students fit, they, they redesign copy uh, text to go with, with adverts. Um, in using suitable typography. So typography is typography and layout are two crucial elements um, that are part of graphic design that are a little bit alien to the average person, but um, they, they really are foundational and uh, form yeah, really the foundational basis of a lot of graphic design. Because as I was saying earlier, graphic design, unlike say art, is a subject that requires you to be good at designing with type as well as images because you've got to blend the two together. So um, we, we definitely place a lot of emphasis on typography. After that, in uh, module seven, we cover logo designs where students design a logo for a business, which is very helpful if that's something that 
you may be engaged with in your personal life or career. And then the final uh, module, number seven, is all about then taking your identity design that you've created in your uh, logo and expanding it um, into a, a visual identity for a brand. So you create a brand board which explores all the uh, visual assets that you would use in an identity, a visual identity for a company, for yourself, or whatever. And then you uh, make social media posts and ads using that identity. So again, it's geared towards the contemporary world where that type of thing is required and something which I think adds a lot of value to many people's lives um, in today's world. What I would like to just do is now explain a few things that will hopefully convince you that uh, graphic design is worthwhile if you're wondering whether you should uh, study this course or not. Um, I don't need to tell you that our world today is much more visually orientated than it used to be. We all uh, use social media and, um, you know, just on a day-to-day -day experience, our lives are impacted with visuals all the time, whether it's advertising or uh, other forms of communication. So if you learn the basics of graphic design like our, that are featured in our course, you can actually be a better communicator. And um, it's been proven that uh, visuals are a much more effective way of communicating and getting people to remember things and absorb information than simply uh, text. So I just want to go over a few uh, statistics that I came across. Um, for example, in social media posts that uh, feature images, they deliver a 655% higher engagement than a, a social media post that just has plain text. That just gives you some indication of the power of imagery um, in today's world. Tweets with visual assets generate 150 more retweets. Facebook, 230% more engagement. Um, there are many more other examples of that, but I don't want to bore you with too long a list. Um, digital marketers also rate uh, visuals and graphics very highly in terms of uh, communicating their message. And um, there's special emphasis on generating original imagery. So uh, a lot of brands, a lot of people maybe f find and pay for stock photography, but um, compared to uh, original graphics, um, uh, stock photography comes in at 12% in terms of performance, whereas uh, original graphics is top of the list at 40%. So if you do the graphic design course, you will be able to generate original content, original imagery, which if you're involved in business somehow, can be very useful in terms of performance. And then because we do logo design, you could also design a business card for yourself or someone else in your company. And uh, handing out business cards also generates more business, obviously. So. Um, there's statistics related to that if you're interested in doing some research around that. Um, and then lastly, uh, website design, although it's not covered in our course because it's an introduction, an introductory course and website design would be a bit more advanced than, than that. 94% uh, of consumers leave a website that's got poor graphic design. That's quite a huge quantity and people make a judgment within as little as 50 nanoseconds on whether a website has good design or not. Um, so, and then 46% of people connect the graphics or the presentation of the website, whether, on, you know, they base the credibility of the brand based on what they see. So a lot of people obviously engage with your brand only um, via the internet, especially these days, you know, during lockdown. So, um, you know, if you want to increase the credibility of your brand, it's good to have a good visual sense and the graphic design course provides just that. So um, it's for people who perhaps want to get into the field or other people who already work for a company, but just be want to become a bit more savvy in terms of uh, dealing with visuals and graphics and typography. Okay, that's my spiel done. Over to you, Donnie. Great, great. Thanks, Connor. Um, yeah, basically, what I can take from that is, you know, you can't judge a book uh, by its cover, but you can definitely judge a website by its poor design. So, 
Thanks very much for that, Connor. Oh, that's, that's great. Uh, what about next ones? Um, we're looking at two very popular courses, um, our digital content and copywriting course, as well as the social media marketing course. Uh, the digital content and copywriting course uh, is based on our high certificate in creating digital content, uh, which is obviously something that we teach uh, at our full-time school. Um, Kerry Worth uh, is our lecturer on that program, and I'd really like to invite her up uh, just to chat a bit more uh, on these courses. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off by talking about digital content and copywriting. So what this course essentially does is it gives you the skills to create quality, relevant, and valuable content for your audience. Uh, now, when I mean content, I don't mean the adverts that you see before a YouTube video. I'm talking about the actual video itself. Uh, content is all about the engaging Instagram posts. It's about the great email newsletter from your favorite brand. It's also the hilarious podcast episode that you can't wait to hear every week. We teach you how to create these masterpieces that speak directly to your brand's audience. You know that there is nothing more frustrating than scrolling down your timeline on Facebook and finding something that is not relevant to you or doesn't make sense, full of spelling errors or you know you don't quite grasp the content of and you're like what is this doing with on on my timeline let's unfollow the brand you don't want that happening with your audience you want to engage with them and create a connection um it's also really frustrating to uh try and search for something on google and you say okay um how to fix my coffee table um and an article pops up and it has absolutely nothing to do with fixing your coffee table um DCC, uh, sorry, digital content and copywriting gives you those skills to write that valuable, uh, um, to, to write that valuable blog article that engages and hooks people to come for more so that maybe they don't necessarily want to fix a coffee table or maybe they want to, uh, you know, fix other things around the house because you've, you've been able to provide them some informative content. All right, so we cover a wide range of digital channels here. Um, it's not just social media. We also, uh, we also cover video series, uh, podcast series, um, blogs, direct marketing, so how to write a killer e uh, newsletter. Um, we even cover SMS um, and, uh, and writing for websites. And we finish off with a massive project where you get to create your own podcast or video series for your own brand. Okay. Um, so um, this course is highly practical. You get to flex your creativity muscles by actually creating your own content for your own brand. If you don't have your own brand, you could either make one up for this one uh, just to see what it's like having your own business and creating content for your own business, or you can, um, or you can write for a brand that you know very well or that you're working at. Um, you get to practice and make your mistakes and ask lots of questions in these practical assessments and content experts can give you highly valuable feedback that allows you to to take your content up to that next level so that you can have something really really relevant to your audience so not only do we give you those skills to create a really good video we also give you the skills of finding out exactly who your audience is and finding how to talk to them directly it's as if you are reaching out through the laptop and talking to them directly as if as if you know them intimately okay now that might sound a little bit creepy but really it's just about um knowing and understanding your audience their needs and wants and what they want to see um on whatever digital channel that they're on um that's all i have to say about uh digital content. Um, I'm going to move to social media marketing and then we can answer any questions that have come up. Uh, so social media, while we cover a little bit of social media in digital content and copywriting, it's only about the content. So that's, um, so, so that is just the stuff that you, you post on social media, but it doesn't cover things like paid media. Okay. All the, all the, all the advertising that, that, um, you could put on social media um, and it doesn't cover analytics and all of that. Hang on, let, let me let me um, describe this a little bit better. 
So we explore all aspects about what makes a really good social media uh, campaign. All right. This course is aimed at teaching you best practice for each of the social media giants like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. But we can even focus on more niche networks or, or niche platforms like TikTok, Snapscan, and Pinterest. Okay. Uh, you'll learn about creating quality content for each of them. Like um, uh, you can also think about advertising strategies. So how to navigate um, the paid media in, in Facebook and Instagram. Uh, it can get quite complicated and we take you through each of those steps of how to set up an advert on, on, on these platforms. Uh, you'll, we'll also teach you how to navigate each of the analytics uh, plat uh, analytics um, uh, pages for these platforms. Uh, we have a great interactive quiz for that in that module where you get to play around in the Google Analytics uh, demo um, and we teach you how to read and how to gain insights from analytics from, from platforms like uh, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, etc. And on top of that, we also teach you how to talk to different communities on your different platforms. You will have a different audience on Twitter than what you would have on Facebook, for instance. Um, also, how to handle a social media crisis, which is something quite pertinent uh, in the time that we're living in. Um, so um, I think that's all we need to cover for this. Do we have any questions? Okay, yes, uh, we've got one here from Kayla. Um, so she said here, this sounds very interesting, uh, but is this a skill that can be learned or do you need to be very good with words to do copywriting? That's a really good question, Kayla. And, um, and no, you don't need to be a writing a, a, a writing superhero. You don't need to have written a, uh, you know, written a blog or five or have published a book. This is definitely something that we can teach you and we can learn how to construct, how to construct really good co copy. Uh, we give you all the kind of essential skills in how to kind of uh, speak to people directly, how to be engaging, how to, um, how to you know, reach out to people and in order to, to talk to them better. Uh, this is definitely a skill that can be learned. Um, and it is, um, it, it really just comes down to practice. So even if you are okay at writing, you can't really get better at it unless you keep practicing and practicing and practicing. And that's really what we help you with um, in, in, in the sidelines through our chats and through our feedback in the, in, in the practical assignments and even in the theoretical assignments, that if you do do something wrong, or if you say, oh, you're not quite hitting the right notes, then we do, we do give you feedback, we do guide you into, um, into writing the right thing or creating that really good content. Uh, Donnie, can I um, read the other questions? Yeah, out? well, by all means, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Christoph, I think he's got a good one there for you. Okay, Christoph, uh, does the DCC course focus more on content over copywriting? Um, it, it, it's an equal balance of both. Um, so we do, uh, we do focus on quite a lot of content um, and copywriting is, is quite a significant portion of it. Um, and we do give you a very uh, a detailed uh, breakdown in the uh, essentials of copywriting. Um, it was actually written um, by our copywriting lecturer, who is now in London working at a super awesome, uh, a, a super awesome agency as a copywriter, and she's got massive ninja skills. Um, so you you getting uh, you you're getting advice from one of the uh, the big players. Uh, Jody says, is it better to have some general social media marketing background before specializing in content marketing? Absolutely no. There's no, absolutely no reason for you to have uh, any kind of background. So uh, you can go into either social media marketing or digital content and copywriting completely fresh faced. You don't necessarily need to have any marketing experience uh, if you don't have any. Um, and even if you are maybe a community manager and you want to um, and you want to maybe um, improve on your um, on your content, then you can even take that. So no, you don't necessarily need to have social media experience or marketing experience before taking DCC. 
Uh, Corin, or Corinne. Uh, hi, I'm a freelance writer with many years of experience in the magazine industry. I'm looking to upskill and wondering which course is best for me, the social media marketing or the DCC. I love writing and I need to learn skills to be a content manager, such as formulate a cross-platform strategy, keyword and SEO skills, social media management, etc. DCC is the thing for you. DCC co covers all digital platforms, not just social media. Social media is very like very insular about each of the social media platforms and you won't be able to get that those wonderful skills uh, that you can get from uh, SEO and um, and uh, cross-platform strategy. We really encourage you and we also give you those guidelines on how to create a, like an overarching cross-platform strategy on all of your digital marketing uh, channels. So I strongly advise you pick up um, DCC and it sounds like you'll be great. Um, and I think that's all the questions. Yeah, for now. definitely. Uh, thanks so much, Kerry. That was really, really amazing insights. And I'm sure that uh, the guys that asked a couple of those questions really uh, know the way forward now. Um, I do uh, want to obviously just introduce us to the last person. Um, so I just want to invite uh, Robin Hezekamp on. Uh, so just as a bit of background, Robin heads up our instructional design team. Um, so they are the team that puts all of our courses together. Um, and also on a side note, they are absolute ninjas uh, and really great at what they do. So welcome, Rob. Um, yeah, can you please just uh, tell us more about, you know, sort of the, the red and yellow approach uh, to online learning and perhaps give, just give us a sneaky preview as to what are some of the up and coming courses? Sure. Thank you for that intro, by the way. You called us ninjas and for a second I thought you were going to call us nerds and I still would have been like, yeah, that's fair. Uh, coming up, we are currently working on a data principles and visualization course, which we're really excited about because we are all nerds and this kind of stuff makes us really excited. Um, one of my team who is on this panel, Gareth, is busy writing it and he is the biggest data nerd of us all, so he's having a lot of fun. We're focusing on how to use data, um, narrative and visualization to produce effective, persuasive communications. Uh, we look at how to gather data, how to analyze it, basic and advanced visualization, so how to turn the data that you gather into visualizations that can tell a story, because storytelling is one of the best ways to make a difficult concept easy to understand. Um, then how to report or tell that story with your data, and then our last module for this one is going to be kind of ma management specific, but really important for everyone anyway. And that's how you take that data and you turn it into wisdom. In other words, data is meaningless unless you turn that data into actionable insights using analysis. And then you take those actionable insights and you actually action them, you turn them into action. And then uh, that's wisdom. And that's what we're trying to teach you with this course. We're trying to make you wise. Uh, we also have a national certificate in creating digital content coming up. It's quite similar initially to our existing national certificate um, in digital marketing. The first two modules are fo focused on giving you a, a broad introduction to digital marketing as a whole. But from there, it moves into a strong focus on copywriting and content development. I'm not gonna talk about that too much because Carrie talked about it really well when she was talking about her um, DCC course. Sorry, we do really like acronyms, but the usual national certificate in digital marketing looks at client services. This one is content and copywriting. So it's really good for bringing people to you and building up relationships with customers by giving them things that they will find valuable. Uh, we are also busy working on our seventh edition of the textbook that Donnie introduced earlier on. So that's hopefully gonna be out by the end of the year. Uh, we're planning on making it a digital textbook, which is pretty exciting. And then I thought I might tell you a little bit about how we build these courses, just in case you're wondering whether you can trust what we say. You can, spoilers. Uh, so the first thing we do is we go to experts who work in the industry and we ask them what people in the industry want. And from that, we get the outcomes that we want the course to achieve. From there, we work closely with the experts to write the course. Uh, we do the writing, but they tell us what to write basically. And then we put it together with an eye to specific human skills that Red and Yellow has identified as really important for the next 
couple of decades probably. My personal favorites are creative thinking, critical thinking, and empathy. Uh, but we also focus on seven others that you might be interested in checking out. We make sure that our assessments are really practical. Uh, there's no point learning a lot of theory and then not really knowing how to apply it because then one day you will have to apply it and you won't really feel confident that you know what you're doing. So for our assessments, if we teach you something, your assessment is going to make you do that thing. We also make a solid effort effort to cater for different learning styles. It helps that everyone on my team has a different learning style. There's kinesthetic, there's visual, I'm a verbal learner. Um, so that makes it easier. We make a point of putting in a lot of different media types, so videos, podcasts, and so on. We throw in little quizzes to test your knowledge as you go. And we're always trying to think of the best ways to prevent, present information to you and do things like creating visual links between texts and um, ideas and pictures that we put in there because that makes it easier to remember. And we make sure to scaffold everything so that we build it up. Um, Gareth has been very into storytelling for data and he, he called it something like telling a story or building a narrative with each module. So the modules build on each other and the thing that you come out with at the end, hopefully is something approaching wisdom. And the best thing about our courses, I think, is the personal touch. So if you're ever worried or confused or you don't know what to do or you got an assignment back and you don't understand the feedback, you can contact us. Your course coordinators are always really uh, easy to get hold of. They will occasionally just call you out of the blue to see how you're doing. You can also get in touch with people on my team if you have content problems. And we're always really happy to talk through uh, content with you because it makes us feel useful. Um, and then you also have regular chats or video tutorials and forums discussions and you can use all of these to get into contact with us. That's my story, Don. Oh, thank you for the background compliments, Pete, everyone. <laughs> yeah, everyone is absolutely loving uh, your, your virtual office background of the office. Absolutely. And Lee Hudson. Thank you. <laughs> Someone's asking about ADDM being 20 hours a week. Technically, yes, it's a, it's a full-time qualification that we're spreading out into part-time. Uh, it's 120 notional hours, um, which, wait, it's 120 credits, so it's 1,200 notional hours, and that's how many hours you spend on it over the two years, in theory, unless you read really fast. Right. Yeah, <laughs> definitely you've got to do in the, you've got to put in the work to get in the, the credits. Robin alluded to, you know, we, we definitely put ourselves in that uniquely human touch. So when on courses and all of that, um, you know, sort of we, we have our course coordinators, as, as Robin had said, that will basically be there to support you throughout the course. Um, obviously, um, assist with any kind of queries, connect you to pretty much anybody to assist you when um, uh, you know, sort of answering your assignments, uh, you know, sort of your quizzes, um, and uh, sort of any practicality or the practical things that we're going to be doing on our courses. Uh, furthermore, obviously, if you, and God forbid, if you ever do need to get an extension, they be the ones to, to sort of help out with. Um, I know that uh, life does happen. Uh, some of us, obviously, well, all of us are stuck at home. Uh, we shouldn't really be um, needing any kind of extensions, but yeah, them to stop me from uh, requesting a sneaky little extension last week. Um, just in respect to some of the uh, courses, as you guys would have known, we covered part of, you know, sort of a bit of our courses. Uh, each of them do have their own different start dates. And um, basically, um, you can obviously find this out on our website, but um, each of our program and courses start on a Monday, um, barring if that Monday is on a public holiday. But um, all of them are on a Monday, and uh, everyone you know, sort of that is registered for the course will then receive their login details at 3 p.m., okay? uh, as well as a friendly call from our uh, CC staff, uh, which is obviously is the course coordinators. Um, again, you know, sort of just punting that uh, the unique human in touch, making sure that you always have somebody there to support you. Um, and then you know, sort of something that always does pop up is, is in respect to um, payment plans. Okay, so, so we offer a quite a wide variety of payment plans uh, where we can cover the course either as a one-sort, okay, um, and we can either look at the uh, four-part payment plan. Uh, some courses are a little bit shorter than the 10 weeks, so they have a three-part payment plan. 
And then we also uh, partner with external parties where we can either explore a 12 to 24 month payment plan, really just looking at um, just making sure that we're accessible, you know, so that it's everybody and everyone's budget. Uh, I know that obviously in the, the greater scheme of things we're sitting at the moment, it is incredibly difficult. Um, so really just looking to, to partner up with as many people and to improve lives through, through better education. And that's really what we're sort of doing here. <laughs> um, I see, uh, Jody, I see you asking for a couple of discounts on um, being sort of uh, obviously due to COVID. So Jody, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously from a discount point of view, um, yeah, we, we do, you know, sort of offer some discounts that are very much a discretionary aspect. Um, so we are always, always open, you know, sort of to, to helping out our students. Uh, and then also, Jody, we offer up a couple of boot camp courses that we've created. And uh, these are essentially shorter courses um, or shorter versions of uh, our bigger courses, you know, sort of to take in the interim and obviously upskill. Um, cool. Chantal's just got a question on. Um, lectures and their availability on a Saturday and uh, should have a question to be addressed by a video call or smaller um, yo, sorry similar not smaller <laughs> apologies over there um, I actually want to bring Robin up on this one uh, Robin uh, could you perhaps jump in uh, on Chantal's question there technically speaking uh, content experts are available during working hours only uh, except for the advanced diploma, where we have a tutorial session on Wednesday evenings. Actually, a couple of us are kind of workaholics, so you may get a response on Saturdays, but it's not, it's not a guarantee. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, thanks. Very Can much. I answer Malemos as well, though? Uh, oh, yeah. By, by all means, jump right in over there. Is one able to do two courses at the same time, for instance, graphic design and digital marketing? Theoretically, yes. Practically, I wouldn't. Sp graphic design is an amazing course. It's a lot of work. Uh, all of our courses, they're really good, but, but you know, it's that eight to 10 hours a week ends up feeling like more than you think it might. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try and do two at once. Yeah, no, they they definitely are as much as uh, you can, you know, sort of work and, you know, sort of study at the same time to work and study two courses at the same time. That's, that's tough. And uh, if you can do that, jeepers. Um, I commend you on that. <laughs> Great. Uh, Wes, uh, over to you, sir. Thanks, Donnie, and thank you to everyone for attending.